Watch this. Notice how the cricket ball is swinging through the air? There are many YouTube videos, articles, and blogs explaining how the cricket ball is able to swing in the air. We wanted to devise an experiment to study this behavior. Here's the experiment getting set up. So now that the setup is complete, let's understand the experiment. Here we have the shiny side of the ball, and on the other side is the rough side. Now our plan is to move in the vehicle holding the setup exactly like this. Our hypothesis is that the ball will actually move in this direction. Now how do we know that it will move in this direction? Because this is the side that the rough side of the ball is on. We'll cover this more later. In the back, we have a metal pole that is used as a vertical reference. Let's take this thing on the road. So as you can see, the first attempt to see the cricket ball swing was relatively unsuccessful. This is because the ball was swinging a lot, so we had to modify the setup. The setup was modified to make the suspension arm longer, and we also had to increase the roughness of the rugged side of the cricket ball. Time for take two. As you can see, the, the ball is tilting towards the rough side, and as the airspeed increases, the angle of tilt also increases as well. So we went from 40 miles per hour to 60 miles per hour, and you can see a clear difference in the angle of tilt. So let's understand this. Here I have a cricket ball with the shiny side here and the rough side over here. And we want to understand why the ball moves towards the rough side as it passes through the air. So let me place the ball here. Obviously if it wants to stay. And you can imagine that the air is going in this direction. Here's an arrow to represent the direction that the air is traveling towards. These strings represent streams of air that are moving past the ball. So you can see that on the shiny side, the streams of air are very smooth as they pass. This is different than the rough side. As you can see, on the rough side things are very different. There's a lot of turbulence. So as the air passes the rough side of the ball, it gets very turbulent. This turbulence results in a low pressure in the area. And so here's an arrow representing that low pressure. This low pressure results in the ball moving in that direction. This phenomenon is also seen in airplanes and other aviation vehicles. So I hope you enjoyed the way we experimented and explained ball swinging in cricket. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.